so what's, what's important to actually distinguish here is that insulin doesn't cause weight gain, but it will help us to keep nutrients on board. Ah, yes. So certainly it all comes down to calories. Now, um, people with diabetes, I always remind when I, when I speak, I say people are diabetes, people with diabetes are not different from the rest of the population. We still need to know what type of nutrition is right for us. Mm -hmm. We still need to know how many carbohydrates, protein, fat we need as individuals, whether we have type one and we're athletes or we're not athletes, we still have individual needs. So you can't tell us to just eat a certain amount of carbohydrates every meal as if that works for someone like me or someone who's a foot taller than me, there's going to be this difference, right? So, um, insulin is going to be a certain amount that we need to work with our glucose that we're getting from food that we're getting from those carbohydrates. If we overeat, we're going to need more insulin. And that's where insulin gets mixed up in this insulin thing that causes weight gain. Insulin is anabolic and that it helps our bodies grow. So you can imagine like as a kid, right? When you're trying to grow a little bit more or you're extra active and kids have the highest calorie needs where there can be this mix up between, well, I need more insulin as I'm getting older. So is the insulin causing me to gain weight? And that's where the confusion comes in, where insulin takes a lot of the blame, where body fat comes into play. And what I needed to learn is that, no, 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 I'm overeating to treat low blood sugars. Mm. And then because I'm overeating, my blood sugars are going too high. And now I have to take more insulin to correct that. But in the book, you say that insulin causes the release of ghrelin, which makes us hungry. Mm. So if uh, what happens here is it's kind of a mechanism for every body is that, um, when our hunger hormones are starting to increase insulin would be released for someone that does make insulin. But in my case, I'm going to need to take insulin in order to work with those carbohydrates to absorb them. Ah, okay. I see. It's I've heard a lot of nutritionists say you need to keep your blood sugar. This is for not for diabetic per se, but mm -hmm. if you keep your blood sugar steady, you will be less apt to store fat. Yeah. And um, insulin isn't the thing that makes us store fat. Insulin helps glucose move in to unlocking this key to get those molecules in the cell. Mm. So yeah, metabolically, I don't know how insulin somehow becomes this thing that makes fat, doesn't make fat, um, <laughs> you know, nutrition, it's, it's going to be fat as storage. It's kind of like calories and grams aren't the same thing. So calories are the unit of energy, right? Where grams are going to be a little something different. So calories, that unit of energy, we are going to end up storing more of that as triglycerides if we overeat. So mm -hmm. insulin is going to, we're going to have to have more Ubers. We're going to fire up more insulin molecules to move the glucose. So that I think is where maybe there's mm -hmm. some sort of mechanism there where it's easy to confuse that. But of course you can do a Google search and find a study that says anything. Yeah. And, and you can, yeah. yeah. And you, right. Like, and, and not that the agriculture, animal agriculture industry is paying for studies that says insulin stores fat, but depending on how someone is studying and tracking this metabolic process, they might go to say that this is, this is the process. This is the anabolic process with insulin. But from, from the studies that I've looked at and from my knowledge of type one diabetes is it's, it's always a much more positive place to stand to say insulin is not the thing that's causing you to gain weight overeating is causing you to take more insulin. However, it's mm. the calorie load, just like every normal person. It's the mm. calorie load. 